This machine defies logic. It runs with no fuel, no solar panels, no wind turbines, just silent, relentless movement. In the shadows of history, one name echoes louder than the rest, Nikola Tesla, a man obsessed with giving the world free energy. They silenced him, but what if someone, somewhere, finally cracked the code? A hidden invention, rediscovered, a device born in a workshop, not a lab. Today, we're uncovering the Liberty Engine 2.0, an electromagnetic system that just might rewrite the rules of power forever. This isn't science fiction, it's here and it's working. Tesla's forgotten vision. Nikola Tesla believed that energy should be as free as the air we breathe. Back in the early 1900s, he dreamed of a global system where electricity could be transmitted wirelessly. No wires, no bills, no limits. His experiments at Wardenclyffe Tower weren't just about communication, they were about energy liberation. But the dream died quietly. Investors pulled out. Powerful forces feared what free electricity would do to their profit margins. Tesla was labeled a mad scientist. His tower was demolished. His notes vanished into obscurity. Conspiracy theories suggest those blueprints held the key to unlimited power, buried by those with too much to lose. Still, the whispers never stopped. Tinkerers, engineers, and visionaries across generations have tried to piece together what Tesla might have discovered. And now, a small team believes they've built something in his spirit, the Liberty Engine 2.0. It isn't a wireless tower, but its goal is the same, free, self-sustaining energy that doesn't rely on the grid. It doesn't claim to break the laws of physics, but it dares to question what's possible within them. What it is. At first glance, it doesn't look like much. Just a few coils, a rotor, some magnets, some wires. But the Liberty Engine 2.0 isn't trying to impress with its appearance. It's built to perform. At its core, this is a generator designed to sustain itself. Once it starts, it keeps spinning. Once it spins, it keeps producing electricity. The system relies on electromagnetic induction. But instead of fuel, solar panels, or batteries, it uses motion, specifically the motion of a rotor embedded with N52 grade neodymium magnets, among the most powerful permanent magnets in the world. When they spin past tightly wound microwave transformer coils, they generate alternating current, just like a large scale power plant. The difference? This one fits in a garage. The rotor is crafted from a special alloy of aluminum and silver to reduce energy losses, called eddy currents. The frame is custom-built, with each coil locked in a resin casing, perfectly balanced to avoid vibration. Even the startup mechanism is old school. A simple pull cord, no batteries, no switches, just raw kinetic energy. Once the engine starts, it spins at a constant 1400 revolutions per minute, generating a steady 230 volts AC, the same voltage used in most homes across Europe and Asia. Its claimed maximum output, 20,000 watts, enough to run computers, tools, even a water pump. What's shocking isn't the hardware, it's the simplicity. No exotic materials, no hidden chambers, just clever engineering how it works. So how does a machine keep generating electricity without external power? It's not magic. It's a feedback loop built on magnetic force, motion, and timing. The Liberty Engine 2.0 begins with a manual pull start, like an old lawnmower. When you pull the cord, you're turning the rotor, embedded with neodymium magnets. As the rotor spins, the magnets pass close to microwave transformer coils. A changing magnetic field induces voltage. That current flows into outlets and, crucially, back into the motor, which keeps the rotor spinning. This feedback loop means the initial pull just kickstarts the process. After that, the engine sustains itself. The genius is in the details. The aluminum silver rotor reduces wasted energy. No pulleys or belts, less friction, less loss. No hidden batteries, proved by full teardown videos. 
And it's not just lighting LEDs, it powers real machines, IMAX, drills, grinders, water pumps, all off-grid. It doesn't claim to be a perpetual motion machine. It doesn't break physics, it exploits magnetic momentum, low resistance, and smart wiring. It's not infinite energy, but it's the closest thing we've seen to independent energy. Real-world tests. In one outdoor test, far from any electrical grid, the team powered up real devices, a 27-inch iMac, a drill, a grinder, and a water pump. One by one, each device worked flawlessly. No flickering, no voltage drops, just smooth, uninterrupted performance. The output stayed steady at 230 volts. The rotor spun at 1400 revolutions per minute, the sweet spot. And thanks to the custom alloy and resin-sealed coils, heat stayed minimal. Noise was low, just a faint hum. The team even disassembled the machine on camera to silence the doubters. No tricks, no batteries, just engineering. The future of free energy. The Liberty Engine 2.0 isn't perfect. It's still a prototype, but it's a spark, one that could ignite a much bigger movement. Imagine a world where every home generates its own power. No bills, no blackouts, just clean, quiet, sustainable electricity. For off-grid communities, disaster zones, or even space missions, a system like this could change everything. The team is already working on stronger magnets, better alloys, and more compact builds. With shared knowledge and testing, this could become a household reality. And let's not forget, this isn't just about saving money. It's about freedom. Freedom from power monopolies, freedom from fossil fuels. Freedom to imagine a future where energy is abundant, clean, and yours to control. The question isn't whether it works. The question is, are we ready to let it work? What you've seen today isn't just a machine. It's a message, a reminder that the boundaries of science are not fixed. They're waiting to be moved. The Liberty Engine 2.0 is just one attempt, but it carries the spirit of every inventor who dared to dream beyond the system. Whether it becomes a revolution or just a spark, it invites us to question, explore, and create. If free energy is possible, then the future won't be built in factories, it will be built in garages by people who believe in the impossible. Maybe that person is you. So where do we go from here? The Liberty Engine 2.0 isn't just a prototype. It's a question. It's a challenge. A challenge to the way we think about energy, about progress, and about the future we want to build. For a century, we've been told that energy has to come at a cost, a financial cost, and an environmental one. But what if that's not true? What if the real revolution isn't a new app or a faster computer, but the quiet hum of a machine in your own garage. This isn't about one inventor or one device. It's about the spirit of innovation, the spirit of Tesla. It's about every person who looks at a problem and doesn't just accept it, but asks, what if there's a better way? The power to change the world isn't held by a few corporations or governments. It's in the hands of the curious, the tinkerers, the dreamers. It's in the hands of people like you. So I ask you, what will you do with this knowledge? Will you simply watch, or will you dare to question, explore, and create? The future of energy isn't a destination, it's a journey, and it starts now.